it all. Now, this is just a small example of how successful that was. Um, a tiny, tiny uh, example. There was pages and pages in other newspapers would be here on it. We get the idea. Home and dry after the great underwater escape. New Dean, he sets water record. Cub Comfort as Jonathan makes his great escape. Jonathan dunked to a world record. Chains can't hold the record chaser. Chained up Jonathan, risk life for world record attempt. The most important point here is, because the photo is the story, and in this case, obviously if it's a product, it will be a photo of the product in use, or somebody who has used it successfully, we'll cover that more tomorrow. In this case, we needed them to know this was Simply Pure Water, and how to contact Simply Pure Water. Hence, where the we live in was, in the background was the sponsor's banner, which all over it, you can see, said simply purewater.co.uk. Which, when you see it closely up enough, you can tell that that's what the website is. Reason being that they've got, not really got, such a powerful story without the photo. So they could admit to mention the company name from the text, but it's there on the fucking photograph, so they can't escape it. But just to be on the safe side, the front of the wheelie bin, as, which if you close up on this one you can see that the front of the wheelie bin actually says it on it, says simply pure water and it's got the telephone number and website address. Just to be on the safe side, as I'm the nutter doing it, obviously they're going to take photographs of me chained up. So all the t-shirts said simply pure water, oh lovely, 0800 389 9412, got the telephone number on, front and back obviously. Whatever angle they take this photograph from, whatever they do, they can only really use it as long as they plug in Simply Pure Water, which is the whole bloody point of it. It doesn't matter then whether they include it in the text. As it happened, they did. Probably because they realised there's no bloody escape in it. And it gave them a dramatic, who is this fucking nutter chained up picture. It's something visual that captures the imagination. But all these exact same principles that we use for this, uh, you could, I don't, I mean, you could, I'm not saying, I, I ain't doing it, nobody bother asking me, but if you've got a professional escapologist who wasn't bothered about taking the risk of killing themselves to do an underwater escape for you, you could pretty much link that to anything. All right, the relevance here was simply pure water, their sponsors, it's water. It could just as easily be that you are a local hypnotherapist who, dramatically, this magician, could it be publicity for them, the, the trade-off for them is the PR, as it was for me, mentioned in my TV series. Um, so you could negotiate with a local magician who's prepared to do this. They're, they're going to tell some white lies and say that they'd love to do an underwater escape, but they're scared of water. And because you're a therapist, you're going to cure them of that fear. They've still got this weird, mad, fucked up world record attempt shit going on. Still got full opportunity, but it's plugging your skills as a therapist. Obviously, they're going to escape, because they can do it. They've already been doing it. They know what they're doing. They didn't just get the stuff two hours before the event in terms of finding out what to do. <laughs> but you end up looking good as a therapist. You've proven your results in a dramatic way. That's publicity. That gets the phone ringing. That gets your clients. It could be that... You know, whatever spin you want to put up on, on it, you've just got to think outside the box and be a bit twisted in the head, really. Um, because it could be a home improve your life kit, part of which eliminates your phobias. And as an extreme example, you've got think, think outside the box, and then literally anything and everything is possible. That also got us radio publicity, local television publicity, to purchase in cash, pound notes, the amount of display advertising that that got in terms of newspaper would have cost easy, best part of 100 grand with the radio and all that. It didn't cost us anything more than, what was it, about 100 quid to either the, <coughs> the stuff that chained me up. Oh, and if you're doing a press conference like that, a product launch, lay a few butties and beers on for journalists. They all love a free lunch, an excuse to get out of the office, some at Tinnibble and a few beers. So a few cans of Carling, I think you might have even gone to the extent of a couple of small bottles of wine. A few butties from Asda, but on a plate. They're like pigs in shit, they're having a munch, talking to the mates of a journalist. 
It's bribery. Bribery works. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. Uh, but it's true. It's true. The publicity it got at the time, yeah, could have afforded to go and pay that kind of money, but two reasons for not doing Number one, paid for advertisements, display ads, are nowhere near as powerful as a newspaper or a magazine or a media publication doing a story because people viewing a story, it gives an inclusion.